हेलो वेलकम अगेन वी आर सॉल्विंग सम कन्वेंशनल क्वेश्चन ऑफ सिविल मशीन द टॉपिक इज वाइब्रेशन क्वेश्चन नंबर 19 फ्रॉम सिविल सर्विसेज मेन 2011 थाउजेंड इज द शाफ्ट ऑफ ए स्मॉल टर्बाइन विद ए सिंगल डिस्क इज फाउंड टू हैव ए स्टेटिक रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ 0.355 पॉइंट थ्री फाइव फाइव एम एम फाइन द क्रिटिकल स्पीड ऑफ द शाफ्ट डिस्क सिस्टम एंड कैलकुलेट परसेंटेज चेंज इन द डायमीटर ऑफ द शाफ्ट that will be required to raise the critical speed to 2100 rpm if the initial displacement of the center of mass of the disc from the axis of the shaft is 0.5 mm compare the reflection of the shaft at 1500 rpm in two cases so in the first case uh, It is given that the static reflection is 0.355 mm, or it is 0.000355 meter. So we know that the critical speed is uh, root g by deflection, okay, and uh, uh, g is your 9.81 and deflection is 0.00355. So omega c comes out as 166.23 degree, or in RPM if we take uh, This is not in the next week. Two pi n c by sixty is equal to one sixty six point two three. So the critical speed in our thing comes out as one five eight seven point three seven r. Okay. And from this formula, we can uh, from this formula and from this formula, we can see that uh, critical speed is inversely proportional to uh, static reflection. And in case of uh, uh, beam. The formula for static reflection is W L Q by 48 I, okay, or W L Q by 3 I in cantilever. So it is inversely proportional to I, okay, and I is directly proportional to D4, okay. So it means N C is directly proportional to root D4, or N C is directly proportional to D4, or D is directly proportional to N C. So now in the uh, it is given that if the critical speed is changed to 2100 RPM, so the new critical speed is your 2100. And new diameter is D1. Okay, so percentage change in diameter is D1 minus D by D. So this is the percentage change in diameter, D1 minus D by D. Okay, on 200. Okay, so and that D1 is equal to N C root N C1 and D is equal to root N C. So D1 minus D by D is root 2100 minus root 1587.3 divided by 1 root 1587.3. Putting these values, so we can get D1 uh, minus D by D as 0.1501 or 15.01 percent. So percentage change in diameter is 15.01 percent. Then critical speed is changed from 1587.37 to 21. Okay, so that is 15.01. Okay, so now uh, given that the initial displacement of shaft is uh, in the second part. It is given that the, if the initial displacement of the center mass of uh, the disc from the axis of the shaft is 0.7, so it means small e is given. That is used in uh, finding out the critical speed of formula. E is initial displacement is given when the pulley, uh, when the shaft and pulley are in at rest. So that is the displacement of center of gravity of uh, shaft and uh, disc. That is known as 0.7. Okay. So now E is given that is 0.5 mm and uh, omega n is the uh, natural frequency and omega is the original speed when the reflection is by. Okay. So natural frequency is equal to critical speed always. Okay. So omega n and omega c are equal. And uh, now uh, the speed is given as 1500 rpm. Okay. So it means omega is your uh, 2 pi n by 60 and is your 1500. So in the first case uh, when Uh, when we have found out critical speed here, then then the critical speed is one five eight seven point three seven. Okay. In the first case, uh, the y comes out. Of, we put uh, omega c as one five eight three point seven c seven. Then y comes out as four point three seven. Okay. So in the second case, uh, when critical speed is twenty one hundred rpm, so y comes out as Putting uh, omega 
omega by omega n because 2 pi by 60 will cancel out okay so we'll take n n n by n okay so n c by n so n c in the first case is your 1 pi 8 7 1 3 7 and in the second case it is 2100 so the corresponding uh, deflection of the shaft is 4.37 mm and it is 0 0.520 is the right we use that formula and we can see that the, when the critical speed is increased the deflection is decreased.